Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is in an isolated mountain village the gene frequencies of A, B or blood alleles are 0 0.95, 0 0.04 and 0 0.01 respectively. If the total population is 424, calculate the number of individuals with O, A, B and AB type blood. As usual, I recommend you to pause the video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So probably most of you get used to solve Hardy-Weinberg problems and this is Hardy-Weinberg problem using uh, this equation where frequency of the three genotypes that is made by two alleles would equal to p squared plus 2 p q plus q squared and all this would equal to 1 or 100 percent. So this is true when we have two alleles, allele p and allele q. So these two alleles p and q would make three genotypes. But here we have um, three alleles. So three alleles would make four blood groups, blood group O, A, B and AB. And our formula uh, would slightly change. So basically we have three alleles. So frequency uh, of the uh, different blood groups and genotypes that is made by three alleles would equal to A plus O plus um, B and squared and how it is different from the formula on top basically here we also have uh, allele A and B squared what does it mean? that means that here we have uh, only two alleles and organism is deployed. So this two means uh, squared means that organism is deployed. Here is also organism is deployed but this time we have three alleles. And basically we can expand this formula. So this is the same as A plus O plus B multiplied by itself. So A plus O plus B. And again, this would equal to uh, so those people who know how to expand uh, this trinominal, you can skip next few minutes. Basically, first thing what we're going to do, we have to multiply this A and this A. So we are going to get A squared and then we have to multiply this A and this O and we are going to get um, A O and then we have to multiply this uh, A and this B and we are going to get A B. Now we have to do the same thing with next term. So we have to multiply this O with this A. So plus A O. We have to multiply this O and this O and we are going to get O squared. We have to multiply this O and this B and we are going to get B O plus we have to do the same thing for the last term so we have to multiply this B and this A so we are going to get B A and we also have to multiply this B and this O and we are going to get B O and 
we have to multiply this p with this p and we are going to get p squared now take a look uh, for example we have a or here and a or here so let's rearrange our formula so we have a squared plus 2 a or so next we have um, a b and let's check uh, we have a b here and b a here and this is the same so a b and b a is the same as for example 2 multiplied by 3 and 3 multiplied by 2 so again we can uh, instead of these two terms we can says it plus 2 a b so next what we have we have o squared and we have it only once happens here next we have b o here and b o here and that means we have to put 2 b o here and what else we have and we have b squared so plus b squared and uh, basically now we have uh, all we need so all this would equal to one we should have six genotypes let's check one two three four five six six genotypes would make four blood groups let me remind you we have blood group A which is made by two genotypes one is AA and here is in our formula we would have A squared which is A multiplied by A we have AA genotype and uh, blood group A is also made by genotype A or so plus 2 a o and we also have blood group b and blood group b is made by two genotypes b b or b squared so i would better use uh, what we have here in our formula so instead of a a we can put a squared instead of bb we can put b squared and uh, blood um, genotype b o so plus 2 b o we also have blood group a b we have 2 a b here so 2 a b and blood group o we have uh, blood group or represented by single uh, genotype which is O squared or O O so now we have everything we need to solve this problem so basically now we can use uh, the numbers that we are provided in our uh, problem we know that uh, frequency of the allele A is 0.95 so basically that means that frequency of the blood group A would equal to 0.95 squared plus 2 multiplied by 0.95 and by frequency of the allele O and frequency of the allele O is 0.01 so 0.01 and this is going to be frequency of the blood group A again uh, blood group A is made by two genotypes A A and A O so now we just have to do simple calculations so I use my calculator and I got here 0 
ninety two fifteen and this is frequency of the blood group A. Now let's find the frequency of the blood group B which is made by two uh, genotypes genotype BB or B squared and B O genotype O to B O in our formula so that means that we have to multiply uh, frequency of the allele B which is 0 0.04 so 0 0.04 squared plus 2 multiplied by frequency of the B allele which is 0 0.04 and by frequency of the allele O which is 0 0.01 and frequency of the blood group B would be would be 0 0.0024 now let's find the frequency of the blood group AB so basically we have to multiply 2 by frequency of the allele A which is 0 0.95 and by frequency of the allele B which is 0 0.04 and the answer would be 0 0.076 here and now let's find the frequency of the blood group O and this is going to be frequency of the allele O multiplied by itself so O multiplied by O or 0 0.01 multiplied by 0 0.01 and we are going to get 0 0.0001 this is going to be frequency of the blood group O and our uh, last step would be to multiply these frequencies which we have found for each blood group by number of people in this village so let's do it so number of people is 424 so basically we have to multiply here by 424 424 here 424 here and 424 here and our answers would be as follows so here we are going to have uh, 390.7 but we cannot um, say that 0 0.7 people or person so we have to round this number to round number and this is going to be 391 people would belong to the uh, blood group A. Next we expect that about one person would belong to the blood group B. We also expect that about uh, 32 people would belong to the blood group uh, AB and we would expect that none of the people would belong to the blood group O because as you see uh, only one out of 10,000 would be probability but actual number of people in this village is 424 so we can say that uh, we expect that none of the people would belong to the blood group O so now uh, let's add these three numbers so we have to add these three numbers and we should get 424 so if we add these three numbers we are going to get 424 so basically we can say that in this uh, village we can expect only three blood groups blood group A blood group B and blood group AB and none would belong to the blood group O and if we add uh, all these numbers we are going to get uh, 424 which represent number of people in this village 
So this is our solution. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.